At the end of this picturesque pier in Whitewold, Manitoba, is one of the largest and most beautiful freshwater lakes on the planet, Lake Winnipeg. For over a century, tens of thousands of vacationers have come here each summer to enjoy its beaches. But the question for this young girl is one that wouldn't have been asked just a few decades ago. Will the walk down this pier end in an evening of blissful swimming, or is something ominous lurking in these waters? It's another scorching hot August weekend in Gimli, Manitoba. The Icelandic festival is in full swing, with over 50,000 visitors expected to celebrate those who settled these scenic shores 120 years ago. Things are how they should be, fun, relaxing. But it's not so serene just across the lake at Victoria Beach. One of Canada's finest beaches should be packed with sun seekers, but there are only a few brave souls. The reason is inescapable. For four days, this usually pristine beach has been under attack, a green attack. A blanket of sludge lines the shore, and the water is as thick as pea soup. The stench unbearable. It's a problem that has been escalating since the 1990s. Algal blooms are exploding, and warning signs are now a feature of beach life on Lake Winnipeg. These changes to Lake Winnipeg haunt scientist and Gimli resident Al Christofferson. Lake Winnipeg is one of the great lakes of the world. In fact, it's the 10th largest lake by surface area, yet it's a very, very poorly studied lake. And we all assumed, somewhat naively, that nothing would happen to Lake Winnipeg. Well, it did. At nearly 25,000 square kilometers, Lake Winnipeg is the heart of one of the largest and most extraordinary freshwater drainage basins on Earth. Positioned almost exactly in the center of North America, Lake Winnipeg's waters eventually flow into the Arctic. The lake is also home to the third largest hydroelectric reservoir in the world. Beginning in 1974, Manitoba Hydro blocked the Nelson River, the northern outflow of the lake, with a series of enormous dams. Since then, Lake Winnipeg's water levels have been stabilized. But perhaps the lake's most unique feature is where its waters come from. Lake Winnipeg's watershed is massive. It's almost a million square kilometers, and it covers four Canadian provinces and four U.S. states. From the Rocky Mountains, across all of Western Canada, and including the Bow and the South Saskatchewan River watersheds, the Assiniboine River watershed, the Winnipeg River watershed, and the massive Red River watershed, coming up from the United States. All that water eventually makes its way here to the huge but shallow Lake Winnipeg. 